Hey everybody, Dr. Sean here with another optimizing video. This time I'm talking about male erections. Do you want to know what a healthy erection is? What it looks like? Well, I'm not going to be showing any photographs, so don't you don't have to worry about that. I will probably get into some diagrams on uh, arter arteries and uh, but nothing nothing X-rated. So uh, stay tuned. Um, this is a video that's content is both appropriate for guys and women too, because a lot of these interventions will help out female anatomy as well. So um, first of all, I'll be sharing seven particular things you're gonna to wanna to do to have the healthiest erection at, as you can possibly achieve, to have one, to acquire one, and to maintain one. All really important content uh, to maintain a super healthy erection. First of all, a healthy erection looks healthy. It should appear healthy and it should perform and function in a healthy way. So uh, the first thing we're gonna be covering is the appearance. What do you want it to look like? All right, so first of all, it should have little to no wrinkles on the foreskin, little to no wrinkles. You want healthy skin turgor in the foreskin. What is skin turgor? Skin turgor is when you take your skin and you pull it up and it snaps back. The faster it snaps back, the healthier the skin. A healthy penis has healthy foreskin. So you want that, that penile foreskin to snap back. So that's an important feature that you can assess how healthy your penile foreskin is, how healthy your penis is by the condition of the skin. As the, the skin goes, so does the penis. So you wanna look at that skin, little to no wrinkles and healthy skin turgor. The next thing you wanna check for are spider veins. Okay, spider veins, this is not foreskin, but these are spider veins. They're, they can appear anywhere over the body, but in guys, they frequently will appear later in life on your foreskin. Early on, you might get them around your ankles and uh, ladies get them on their legs. And guys, we also get them on our foreskin. And it's bad news because what uh, spider veins mean is venous stasis, so stagnant blood flow. That's not a good thing when you're talking penile blood flow. So when it comes to penile blood flow, you want blood flow um, more uh, strong and vigorous. And the other place that uh, spider veins show up on the eyelid. So here's an example on the eyelid. So you can check your eyelids for evidence of spider veins and venous stasis, but check your foreskin uh, so you can eliminate stagnant blood flow. You wanna be seen if you have it. And what you want is, when it comes to blood flow, blood flow like the River Nile, the Nile River, okay? so. Here is the Nile River, but it's in its dry season and it doesn't provide much nutri <laughs> nutrition, hydration for the land around it. But here it is in a flood state and you can see it's how much more greener the land is. That's the same thing when it comes to your penile artery. You want, you want those tissues super healthy through really good blood flow. So when it comes to you know, penile blood flow, you don't want some stagnant stream, dumpy, you know, stream near a city dump. You want the River Nile, good, good blood flow to that, to the penis. So one of the other features you should assess for are pulses. That's right. Your penis, when it's really optimally healthy, will have a pulse. Now you should be able to feel it when even in a non-erect stage when it's soft, but you should definitely be feeling it when it's erect, a pulse. So let's, um, take a look at the anatomy on this. So this, of course, is the penis. Uh, this is the um, artery providing, dorsal artery providing blood flow. And there um, is a palp, you're able to palpate, you're able to feel that pulse uh, with your fingers carefully. Uh, you should be able to feel that pulse. If you don't, you don't have really optimized blood flow down there. You definitely should feel it more in an aroused state because that means nitric oxide is flowing to make more blood flow optimal to the penis to, to allow you to have an erection. So um, you wanna be able to check on the top part, the dorsum of the penis for that palpable pulse. Uh, another area that you can check for is the perineal artery. So that's just, just behind the, the, the scrotum on your perineum. You should be able to feel that pulse as well. 
So a palpable pulse that you can feel is a sign of a healthy penis and it will lead to a healthy erection because you get that, that better blood flow. Now, let's look at another feature. This is interesting as I have worked to optimize the health, performance, appearance, and the lives of people. It really comes down to blood flow. Better blood flow improves all of your tissues. So I work very hard to try to optimize the blood flow in my client patients. And one of the things that I first noticed was when, in myself, when I would cross my knee in this particular manner, my foot here would, would jump every time my heart would beat. So what was happening was as the blood would, co would course through there, it would cause a projection of my foot in an upward manner. So that's one of the first signs of you're getting optimized blood flow as you do things to optimize your health. And the big one Dr. O Dr. Sean's always talking about is eliminating visceral fat and optimizing your microbiome. So that improves your blood flow and your foot will kick when you're, when you're just a small little pulse, pay attention. It's not even a big kick like a knee reflex. Things start small and they, they grow and they accentuate over a period of time as that blood flow improves. But start watching and looking for it and build it. You need this feedback, okay? So look for that knee bounce. But here's something really interesting that you don't know about. Do you remember, probably you forgot this, when you were 17, guys, your erection bounced too. It had a throb. And that throb was healthy because you were healthy because you didn't have visceral fat. You had little to no visceral fat. And the influence of that visceral fat degrades your body tissues, including your blood flow all over your body. So you forgot over a period of time that bounce, that erectile bounce waned and disappeared. But it's a sign of a healthy erection, a healthy penis. You want that bounce. So you can get that back. Follow my strategies I'll be getting into. Uh, and we see that in my clients. And I, in fact, got mine back. I'm super happy about that. But it's not something that's easily achieved. Now, it's interesting. You know, why would we have an bounce like that? Well, I think this is just Dr. Sean talking about because I don't hear any other doctors achieving a bounce in their male patients. Maybe they get a little bit of erection with uh, improvement with Viagra or Cialis or, you know, different medications to help. But that bounce is not something that is typically brought back by the average physician. So when you work to optimize that blood flow and you get that bounce back, I started to question, what is the biological advantage of having that bunch, but bounce? So here's what I think it is. I think it's based on a biological primitive instinct that we are wired, particularly you know, females, to look for the healthiest mates possible to merge their genetic material with. It's in the species best best interest to get the best material, genetic material merged together. So that bounce became uh, basically a sign that this guy is really healthy. That, you know, if you got a bounce, that's, that's good. If you have a little quiver, like just a, a little bit of one, that's poor. And if you soft and got no erection, well, forget about it. So mates look for the healthiest other mates to mate with to propagate the species and advantage the species. So it's biological. I think if you did a study and you showed videotapes of bouncing erections and erections that didn't bounce, and you didn't ask a woman, which you just asked a female, what is the most attractive one without telling them what you're getting at, they're gonna biologically gonna choose that bouncing erection because that's imprinting. I think that's a biological instinct that's that's uh, intact in, in a female brain to look for that. So the larger the bounce, the better uh, the health of uh, the penis and the overall the healthier of the, uh, of the body that the penis is attached to. So better blood flow, healthier blood flow means better performance. Better performance means more effectiveness at honey, more effectiveness at performance. Overall, more effectiveness at protecting uh, that mate when an offspring. So it becomes a, a functional key biological indicator of functionality. So it's important. All right. So I shared, I told you I'd get into the seven things. So let's go ahead and count, cover them real quick because I want to try to keep this short. My strategies to optimize uh, 
a healthy penis and a healthy erection is first cut out all processed foods, especially processed carbs. You, you want to you wanna eat as much as possible, whole, healthy, especially 100% grass-fed, finished meat. Game meat and liver organs, not too much, but get some of those into your diet. And you want to eat fermented foods, you know, ideally a kefir, kvass, kimchi, yogurt. Uh, it has to be plain and unsweet. And blue cheeses, fermented cheeses are really good. And then practice and build up to doing some extended fasting. Fasting leads to autophagy, which improves blood flow, helping to improve overall maintenance of the body throughout the body. And fifth, do maximum intensity exercise. So springing. Springing is one of my favorite ones. And, you know, here's um, here's a... Uh, uh, a, a picture of uh, visceral fat right here. Visceral fat will be shredded if you do sprinting. So you want to get a practice of sprinting. And if you're going to sprint, get some testosterone this time. time. Race somebody. Race your spouse. Race your kids. Race a colleague. You know, be competitive. That will help further increase uh, your health and, and lead to greater testosterone and greater functionality of that erection. So uh, practice uh, hormetic exercises like a sauna. Uh, you want to do cold plunge um, and BFR bands. So uh, I have some of my BFR blood flow restriction bands. Um, I don't have any financial interest in this company, but you can get those um, online from a variety of different places, and they help improve uh, functionality of your muscle tissues and your overall health. So those, those are a, a great addition. And then you want to optimize... Um, your skin inside your gut and your skin outside your body. So pay attention to epithelial cells and your oral microbiome. Your oral microbiome, your gut microbiome, they work together to optimize your health. So uh, if you don't know anything about the, the microbiome, Google it. Fall in love with it. Develop a fascination for it and learn what you got to do uh, to optimize your microbiome. And then you want to optimize your oxytocin through a lot of affection, touching, cuddling, thinking about uh, family members and friends, being empathetic. And then you want to optimize your sleep, optimize your sunshine. So um, here's an example of how sunshine can improve you. Here's some telangiectasias, spider veins on the eyelid. And just a few minutes later, this photograph was taken out in the sunshine, and the sunshine impacted um, the skin and cause nitric oxide production, which eliminated venous stasis. So that's important. You want to get rid of spider veins? Go out in the sun. Don't go get them injected. Don't get them surgically removed. Get some sunshine without sunscreen. That's right. I am telling you not to wear sunscreen. Now, don't get burned, but you want to get acclimated to the sunshine. It actually provides you this beautiful nitric oxide. The other thing you can do is when you go outside in the sunshine, check your skin turgor and see, see how it, it snaps when you, you know, before you go out in the sunshine and after being out there about 20, 30 minutes, check it again. You're going to see it snap back much faster. What does that mean? Nitric oxide were produced in the sun. Anybody telling you that? Any other doctors telling you that nitric oxide will snap back your skin like that? You know what they taught me in medical school? They tell you check for dehydration or collagen. Oh yeah, well, dehydration, drink water. Uh, th they don't want you to know about nitric oxide being produced that way. Well, Dr. Sean wants you to know about nitric oxide because that is a wonderful molecule that will optimize your body. So check skin trigger before you go out in the sunshine, check it again later. Why do I want you to do these kind of tests? You need feedback. You don't need blood work, you know, telling you these interpreted by doctors. Your brain needs to see through your eyes that you're getting better and what causes you to get better and get immediate feedback. The other way to get that nitric oxide is going to a sauna, doing sprinting and sunshine and then fasting. You get this immediate improvement of your skin turgor. You get immediate uh, improvement in your venous stasis, your spider veins. And that's what you need. You need that kind of biological encouragement, not so much blood work that people... Every doctor has a different disagreement about it. he or she. They all have different opinions about it. But you know what looks good. Your skin snaps back like that. Your spider veins are disappearing and you're getting a healthy erection and it starts throbbing. Well, then you know you're really, truly getting healthy. So um, the other, uh, other signs that you want to um, work on getting is improving your mitochondria 
insulin sensitivity by cutting again out those processed foods and eating food in whole form. And then improving your, your melanin you get from sunshine and your, your melatonin from uh, your own body's production. If you do not take the outer body exogenous melatonin, make your body do the work, it works, works much better. And then autophagy, that extended fasting produces these wonderful shock, heat shock proteins and chaperone proteins. All right, if you really wanna get healthy, um, you make sure you take a screenshot of that, but if you really are in a hurry, or you really want to get optimal results, results, consider working with me. But you got to come to Minnesota because that's where I'm a licensed physician and I can start optimizing you here. So you can go to my website to learn more about working with uh, Dr. Sean, and I'll be glad to consider taking you on as a client. All right, well, if you like this video, of course, give it a like. Consider subscribing to me. Share this video with other people so they can become aware if they have issues with their erectile dysfunction, like I'm not sure how you'd know that. It's not a real popular thing. But uh, this also works to optimize your health everywhere. So if you get a large prostate, this will help you in that, that regard. If you really have any kind of chronic disease, these interventions work to improve that because they work to eliminate visceral fat, and optimize your microbiome, which are objectives to really uh, go to war against chronic disease. So uh, share this with other people. And uh, as always, uh, appreciate comments, uh, questions, and uh, any sharings that people want to share on my uh, content page. I'd be happy to address them as much as I can. All right, well, this is Dr. Sean out, and we will see you on another health optimizing video.